What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is about Android 12. The beta version is officially out for a bunch of phones and it was officially announced today from Google because today's Google I.O., which is their developer conference. And they announced a bunch of new stuff software wise. And obviously Android 12 beta was one of those things. And looking at this, you're going to get a a big change in the development of Android software, especially the way it looks. So first of all, as you can see right here, the phone gets themed out based off what your wallpaper looks like. So it'll change the colors and all that stuff based off of that. So it's pretty big of what's going on with Android 12. It's more of a looks thing and I guess a feeling of it, not really so much, you know, changes too much with settings and things like that. But looks wise, it's pretty big. I'm I, again, I, it's a little cartoonish, but I think it looks fantastic. It looks different. It looks playful. It looks fun. And I think that's, if you're going to live in an atmosphere, why not live in a fun atmosphere? I think that's one, one of the reasons people like Fortnite, even though it's cartoonish, it's you know fun to be in that world. And hopefully this will do something similar for Google's Android 12 software. Last story of the day, again, has to do with Google I.O., but also Samsung. And it's official. All the new Samsung watches from here on out will run Wear OS, which is a big departure from Tizen, but it also is gonna bring with it some big new features. So this tweet comes directly from Google on their Twitter account, and it says, we're combining the best of Wear OS by Google and Samsung Mobile, Tizen, into a unified wearable platform. Watch apps will start faster, battery life will be longer, and you'll have more choice than ever before from devices to apps and watch faces. So this is absolutely huge. Samsung watches, I think they're the best selling on the Android side. I'd be kind of surprised if they're not. If they're not, they gotta be number two. And then beyond that, them being separate operating system now being unified with Wear OS and Wear OS seemingly taking over some Tizen features, this is huge, this is good overall. I'm happy to see Google Assistant and Google Maps coming to the watch side for Samsung. I'm At this point, I'm probably gonna really have to pick one up unless Pixel Watch, which is also supposed to be rumored to be coming out, is like just as good, if not better, or whatever. But this is still really, really cool news overall. So thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. My question out to you guys is, how do you feel about Wear OS being the operating system now on your Galaxy Watch? Let me know in the comments down below. We'll see you guys down the road. Peace.